Hey y'all, so here is what we're going to be doing in this video. I have another tin can that we've altered, and this one is a rusty steampunk tin can. And I'm just going to walk through what I did to it real quick before I let you guys watch the process. So I started off, of course, by putting a coat of black chalk paint down just as a primer. And then instead of using the liquid fluid medium, this time I used my gloss gel and I put this netting down on the can. And this is just off of a bag of lemons that I got from Walmart. And then, of course, I put another layer of black paint over that. And then I started putting my elements on here. And you'll see um, these bigger pieces are from a Finnebear mold. That's Prima Marketing. Um, let me grab that mold real quick and show you guys. It's actually two different molds. Um, so here they are. You can see them. Um, and um, I get these from scrapbook.com. It's kind of hard to order directly from Prima because they are in Europe. So I get these uh, from scrapbook.com. There's several other places. You can find them on Amazon as well. Um, and I use resin to cast those molds in there. Um, and then... Um, what actually what I did before I put these bigger pieces on here I actually took my black primer my black chalk paint and I painted the back of the resin pieces so that way it wouldn't be so hard to get the brush in around all the little nooks and crannies while I was trying to primer everything because uh, after I put everything on there, then of course you coat it with black paint again. Uh, I did use, uh, these were just plastic beads that were gifted to me and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, I did have some little metal gears um, that I actually got from Hobby Lobby in the jewelry section, as well as these. That's where I got these as well. Um, the little nuts and screws and bolts and things. Those came from the resin molds as well. Um, the clock and this gear right here were actually in a button set that I got from Walmart. So, you know, don't shy away from just looking in all kinds of sections for all different kinds of things because you never know what you're going to see out of something. That's how I do anyway. Um, so what I did was after I got all of that on there and I let that, um, I put it on there with the gloss gel, by the way. I let that dry for uh, overnight overnight because you want to make sure that everything is completely set before you start putting your primer on there again. And then I covered everything really good with my black primer again. And after I did that, I simply used my Finnebear wax in aged brass. And just around the can where the netting is, I just used my finger uh, and then I took a smaller brush to get around the elements because you don't want complete coverage. You want it to look old and uh, just aged and worn. And then after that, I did the rust paste. And the rust paste that I use is also from Finnebear. It's Art Extravagance. Now, this is the bigger jar. You can get them. Um, the sets come in this size jar and I did get this one in a set it came with a smaller red and a smaller brown 
I used all of the red and the brown dried up on me because I didn't really use it that much. So what I did was my first layer of rust, and you'll see I did three layers. I took the red rust paste and I mixed it with some burnt umber paint just to give it a darker hue. I let that dry all the way and then I came back in with the red rust and put that layer on top and then I used the gold rust as my highlighter and I just I kind of used a dry brush technique with that where I just put it over the top just so that it's not everywhere but natural rust is multicolored it's not just one flat color so this helps it to look more realistic I mean it still doesn't look you know like what you would see in nature but I like it anyway so ta-da so I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the process video let me know what you think in the comments please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.
Okay guys, here's the finished product and I am so happy with how this turned out. Um, let me just turn, I'm going to turn it with my hand here so you can see in the light a little bit better than if I was to move the camera. Get in a little closer for you guys so you can see that. I am just super happy with how this turned out. I think the trick is not to overdo the rust. But yeah. So. There you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this product, or hope you guys enjoyed this project, not product. <laughs> and um, I will see you guys in the next video. I think what we're going to do next is I have this candle that I got, and we're going to alter that. So that should be fun. You guys have a great day.